Hi Nicole, it's Gwendolyn here. I hope you had a really good week. Uh, fantastic to see your next set of work. Um, I was beginning to wonder where you went to. I know it's taken you some time to come back to me. Um, great to see your error list though. That was really good. I think it's a very comprehensive list that can help you um, to remember where your mistakes are. Also really good here uh, to see your corrected essays. Um, thank you also for doing the 10 sentences. Let's have a look at those. I like an apple. So here we don't need the article here. Um, unless you have the auxiliary verb I would. I would like an apple would be correct. Or I like apples with a plural would be correct. Um, I like an apple is, um, is not correct. I am playing football with my friends. Good. Good. Subject, am playing, verb, football with my friends, object, good. People with heavy work loads, plural, do not have adequate time to rest. Good. The government can support the poorest by providing subsidies, uh, loans, L-O-N-S, and cheap rent. Good. Old people should provide the youth opportunities to practice their abilities. Good. Workers over 60 years old have lots of experience. Good. To fight excessive drinking, people should keep a drinking, uh, drinking diary. Good. Ebooks, plural will replace traditional paper books soon. Books, plural, because it's more eco-environmentally eco friendly and easy to carry. She is making a cake for her brother's birthday. Good. The cat is chasing a mouse. <laughs> Good. I like that one, Nicole. Uh, kind of made me f smile here on a Saturday morning. Um, good. Good. Good job with this, really good to see. I think for the most part you kept the subject verb object agreement. Sometimes you added a few uh, additional clauses in, uh, but they read okay. So good job with that. Let's go ahead and look at your next set of essays. Let's start with the task two on copyright laws. Okay, Nicole, how to read through your task two. I thought you did a good job here of answering the task response. You've looked at both sides of the question. You had some really good ideas and examples to go with both. Um, I thought a very clear and coherent essay, and you've used some good vocabulary throughout. Let's go ahead and read through it uh, and look for areas that we can improve. The issue of copyright in numerous countries has grown in importance since the implementation, just change your um, verb form here, implementation, T-A-T-I-O-N, of the rules and regulations. There is strong evidence, so just change your uh, singular plural agreement here. There is strong evidence, no S, to show that a staggering number of individuals do not support the copyright laws generated by governments. This essay will discuss the issue using examples from Asia and Thailand to demonstrate points and support arguments. Good, Nicole, really good introduction there. Good vocabulary words, staggering number, uh, generated. Good, some good vocabulary there. To begin with, a copyright law restricts creativity for some individuals these days. This is largely because since the law generated, um, since the law generated, um, sure, missing, missing something there. <coughs> since the law generated, people are unable to read create from other people's content without. Uh, this is largely because since the law was generated, people have been unable to recreate from other people's content without consent. For instance, recent research from the, at your article there, the Asian Film Association indicated that without this law, 85% of Asian novels could be transformed into movies. Thus, people dislike the law since it limits creativity. 
Good, good idea, good example. Additionally, the execution of the copyright rules and regulations has a negative effect in undeveloping Undeveloping countries, I think you can normally we say in developing countries, not undeveloping, has a negative effect in developing countries. So take away the U in there. This is due to the fact that residents in these areas uh, cannot, uh, cannot access copyrighted materials through the internet. Recent research shows, with an S, that in Thailand, 65% of university students could not afford to purchase textbooks, thus they mostly pursued knowledge through the through um, no article though there through digital technologies. Since the implementation, again change your verb form at the I O N at the end. Since the implementation of the regulations last year, students are no longer getting any access to these academic materials. Therefore, the rules limit students' opportunities to acquire knowledge. Good. In conclusion, the copyright law is beneficial to creators, but at the same time, it can limit, limit an individual's creativity. Add your um, article there, A-N. In addition, without the implementation of the law, students uh, Students could have more convenient access, so no two, access, students could have more convenient access to uh, any academic articles all over the world and pursue knowledge, no in there, pursue knowledge anywhere. Good, uh, Nicole, overall a very good essay, some great ideas, great examples, just a few grammar things we need to work on there. Um, but overall, very good essay. Let's look at your task one. Okay, Nicole, just had to read through your task one. I thought you did a good job here of answering um, all parts of the task response. You had a very clear and coherent essay. Um, just a few grammatical points. Let's go ahead and read through that. Uh, also, Nicole, thank you very much for um, adding into the top of your your essay is the task. It really helps me um, in checking your essay, so thank you for doing that. Dear sir or madam, I am Amy Smith. You don't need a pronoun here. We go take that out. Take out your pronoun and say, I am Amy Smith, a year three engineering student at your university, and my student number is 00123456. I'm writing a letter to apologize for failing to attend a dynamic exam on June 10 and being unable to submit an, uh, to submit uh, no article A there unable to submit medical evidence to you. Good, good introduction. On the exam day, I felt dizzy when I was waiting for a bus to campus. Thus I decided to go to a at your article there to a nearby clinic for treatment. Before I, um, before I headed to campus, maybe there's a different word we can use to campus there. Um, maybe you could say even before I headed to uh, the examination, something like that. I don't know. Just because we've used campus there twice, try to change up your vocabulary where you can. Unfortunately, the doctor requested me to take a drip. Before I left. Um, yeah, I think I understood what you meant here. I think maybe some of the terminology language we could use could be a little bit different to make that a little clearer. And maybe, unfortunately, the doctor requested that I be put on a trip uh, before I left. Um, he requested me to take a trip. It's not quite right. I think it's requesting me to be put on a drip because the drip kind of goes into your veins. It's just slightly different phrasing and wording um, just to make that a little more clear. Eventually I totally forgot to ask for medical evidence when I left the clinic. I went back to the... yeah we've I mean, used clinic quite a lot here. Clinic, clinic, clinic. Um, 
some other words we can use that. Maybe you can Google some syn synonyms for the word clinic. Maybe you could even say, I went back to the doctor's office the next day, or I went back to the medical center. Um, yeah, try to think of some different words you can use. So you're not using clinic so much. Just up your lexical resource score. Uh, so maybe I went back to the medical center the next day, but the doctor was on, instead of in holiday, on, O-N, on holiday. Therefore, I could not present a doctor's certificate to you. I sincerely apologize for any disturbance caused. If you will accept another document, I could request the staff in the, uh, you know, here again, we've got clinic again. In fact, we don't even need to say it again. We could just say, I could really request. <coughs> You could just say I could request the medical staff to prepare uh, a letter for you regarding my situation. Uh, I would be obliged if you could give me another opportunity to resit, uh, no, in there to resit the exam. I look forward to hearing from you. Yours faithfully, Amy Smith. Good, Nicole. I thought um, both of these were very good essays, uh, and you did a good job with your 10 sentence essay check as well. What I'd like you to do uh, is go ahead and uh, add any mistakes to your error list, correct these two essays with the suggestions given, uh, go ahead and write the next set of essays and watch the next set of podcasts, and then get back to me in your next email, your error list, your corrected essays, and your two new essays so that I can have a look at those um, all together uh, at one time. All right, no, cool. keep up the good work. Have a fantastic weekend and I look forward to seeing you next essay soon. Bye for now.